We've had a really awesome last couple of days. We spent all day yesterday driving through Yellowstone National Park. Later today, we should be laying eyes on the Pacific Ocean, the West Coast. Super exciting. Another coast to coast in the books at the end of today. A really crisp morning here in West Yellowstone, Montana. We've had a really awesome last couple of days. We spent all day yesterday driving through Yellowstone National Park. We didn't even explore all of it. We were kind of, we kind of stayed on the south side, Yellowstone Lake, and then went up to the falls and back around. And by the time we got back to the hotel, it was getting dark. We're here at West Yellowstone Airport. The plan, the plan today is to get from here. I'm like trying to talk fast, but my mouth is cold. A little bit. See, my mouth is cold. It is 47 degrees Fahrenheit. The plan today is to get all the way to Seattle. Uh, we're gonna probably make a fuel stop in the vicinity of Boise, Idaho. And uh, we think we're gonna depart out of here VFR, but we do have some cloud layers that are gonna be messing with us a little bit. We've got some chorizo burritos <laughs> waiting for us in the FBO that we picked up on the way over here. We're gonna eat those, do a little last minute flight planning, and then we're gonna be departing West Yellowstone. Such, such a beautiful area. Absolutely beautiful area. So happy we stopped here, so happy we spent a day and later today we should be laying eyes on the Pacific Ocean, the West Coast. Super exciting. Another coast to coast in the books at the end of today. Cross the line into Wyoming now. Bet the geysers and springs are putting off a lot of steam this morning. All right, if we were to have an engine failure, I'm gonna do a 180 and head down the valley. Good idea. The colors from this angle are way better. That's the money shot right there. All right. Okay, Old Faithful. What's my heading now to Old Faithful? Old Faithful is going to be approximately one five or one six zero. Sorry, I have it in sight. All right, we're remaining clear of that TFR. Skyline is thirteen hundred feet above us. Jackson Tower, Mooney, November 1173 Golf. Mooney 1173 Golf, Jackson Tower, good morning. Good morning, Mooney 1173 Golf. We're a Mooney over Jackson Lake southbound. Wanted to do a flyby of the Grand Tetons here. We, we can uh, stay a couple miles west of your runway for you, stay out of the approach path. Mooney 1173 Golf, Roger, transition approved, and Jackson altimeter is 3009. If you could, just give me a call, beam the tower. 3009, we'll give you a call, beam the tower. We're level 1010,000. And if you can't see the tower, just the airport. Uh, okay, we'll look for it. Sensor golf, thanks. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's such a smooth day. Oh, and it's still morning. Right. I want to come here in the afternoon and experience that. Citation 7 Hotel Juliet, runway 19, clear for takeoff. Runway 19, clear for takeoff. Citation 7 Hotel Julia, contact Salt Lake Center, we'll see it. Contact uh, Salt Lake uh, Citation 7 Hotel Julia. Gosh, this is beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so the airport, you see this big mound hit there? Yep, the airport is just to the right of it. Got it in sight. Jack Hull Tower United, uh, 568, uh, about two and a half outside of Wamaru with uh, Victor. Next 568 Jackson Tower, good morning, runway 19, clear to land. 19, clear to land, United 568. God, I'm getting a workout here. Whoa, that's a big updraft. Jackson Tower, Mooney 1173 Golf is a beam in the airport, still at 10,000. 1173 Golf, Roger, when you get a little bit further south, are you going to cut through the pass over towards the Victor? Yes, yes, sir, we're going to take uh, Teton Pass. 1173 Golf, Roger, report your right turn westbound. Report the right turn westbound, 73 Golf. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know when we're leaving the area. 568, contact right. 
gotta love it when I look out and I'm seeing the wing flex, and I'm like, I don't think a Mooney's wing is supposed to flex. <laughs> it does. A little bit. Well, yeah, everything flexes. Tower Mooney, 1173 Golf, making the right turn westbound through the pass. Mooney okay. Center 3 Golf, frequency change approved. You guys have a safe flight. Thanks so much for all the help. 73 Golf, good morning. Tax 39 or Echo, how will this search terminate? All right, descending into the Boise Airport, information oh, Charlie. Right. And a right downwind for runway 10 left, and Jackson Jet Center knows we are coming. Gear down, gear down, gear down. Fix your full ridge. And we are lined up with 10 left, not the right. Correct. We are clear to land. Beautiful. That's where the front is right now, right? It's right over the coast. It's actually moving at a pretty fast clip. It's heading our way. So if we start moving westbound, we're going to run into it. And you're right, we're probably going to end up getting stuck. So the question is, do we want to get stuck here or do we want to get stuck in Yakima? Um, so that's six hours away. Twelve hours. In twelve hours, it's, it's, it's past us. It's already past us. And there's still some rain lingering, but it's less. Right, it's a lesser intensity. Okay, new plan. We took all of our stuff into the FBO, did some flight planning, and uh, I think we're gonna stay the night here in Boise. So we got a hotel, got a rental car. Arnaldo is getting the rental car right now over at the passenger terminal, but I'm walking back out to the plane. I'm gonna start unloading it. Basically, we've got a cold front on its way in from the West Coast, uh, kind of from the Seattle area, which is where we wanted to go. Toyed with the idea of going to Yakima and spending the night there. Maybe go to Portland, spend the night there. We just, everything looked not great. And the cold front's actually moving at a pretty good speed. In 12 hours, it's gonna be over our heads right here in Boise. So we just said, you know what? Let's get a hotel, let's get a rental car, stay here for the night. And it's a good airport with lots of good accommodations. We're just gonna wait it out here. Probably find, uh, find a place with some good beer here in a little bit. Okay, back here at the Boise Airport. We waited out the cold front last night and it has passed over us. We still got lots of clouds out there. It's a tad bit cooler today, but not a tremendous amount, but we're not dealing with all the icing. So from Boise, Idaho, we're gonna fly over to Portland. We filed IFR. I'm gonna be in the left seat for this flight. This will be the first time I fly left seat in this plane in a while. It's been a while. Um, and it's definitely the first time on this trip. So I'm gonna get a little bit of left seat time today and we will work as a crew as we have been this entire trip. As, as of now, our plan has changed no less than like six or seven times, so we'll just see how that goes. But for now, onward to Portland. Member 1173 Golf, back 13 Uniform Alpha, Oscar Airport. Fly runway heading, spec radar vectors to Victor 330, wild horse, then as filed. Maintain 10,000, departure frequency 119.6. Squawk zero five one one. Right, right. Creeping her up to about forty inches, and the airspeed is like sixty. She's starting to get light. Left, For a little way. encouragement. Here's coming up. Here's up. Here's up. Coming up to eight. Manifold's looking okay. TIT looks okay. Right at freezing. Yeah, we got some trace clear ice. You want to go higher? Your PIC. I want to go higher. Right. Ask for 12. Yep. And uh, report that we're getting trace rhyme. Yep. Or trace clear, rather. That's Center Mooney 1173 Golf. We're getting uh, trace clear ice uh, right now. We'd like to request 12,000. 73 Golf, and you said 1 2,000. 1 2,000, 12,000. 73 Golf. 73 Golf, climb and maintain 1 2,000. Climb and maintain 1 2,000. 73 Golf. Yep, that's unforecasted icing for you. Everybody in the vicinity of the airport. On initial contact, advise you have uniform. For a state tower information, uniform 1953 Zulu, wind 2007, visibility 10, ceiling 6500 broken, 8000 overcast, temperature 18, 2.12, temperature 3021. Okay, we got the landing gear, we got the flaps. 
Normal approach is going to be, our VREF is 72, we're not going to get below 85 until we're on final. And Gump's check. Gear, red, blue, green. The runway is clean, we're clear to land. And this airplane sits nice and squatty, so we're going to just let her come on down. Ride that nose up trim. Uh, one lima Foxtrot running one seven, taxi Alpha. Hold her in that nose up attitude. Nose up, nose up, nose up. Beautiful. All right. 27 through Golf State Parking. Oh, we're going to Lynx FBO. 27 through Golf, uh, Roger. Uh, turn uh, left off of three there and give way to that Pilatus and uh, taxi to Lynx via Alpha this frequency. Left Alpha 3, give away the Pilatus and uh, taxi via Alpha to Lynx this frequency, 7 through Golf. Okay, we've made it to Aurora State Airport in Aurora, Oregon. Beautiful weather, gosh. Temperature feels so good. It's 68 and breezy, and I think the humidity is like 60 something. Nice. Yeah, it's, but it does feel super nice. Um, so we had a little bit of an issue. The HSI started being a little bit goofy on that flight. It started kind of the heading flag would kind of come and go, and it would wander a little bit. But I mean, we were in VMC for most of the flight, so uh, you know we we got the visual and all that kind of stuff. So we didn't really see it too big of an issue with it. But before we continue on this trip, we do need to get that looked at because we got to get. We're in Washington, or, uh, Oregon now. But we've still got to go all the way back to Florida, so we're going to get that looked at. Definitely have more adventures beyond this point, but this is kind of our get-off point, is what, what you could call it, I guess. This is where we hit the West Coast. So we started on the East Coast, and Florida, I guess you could say, and then we followed the East Coast all the way up and went all the way to uh, Massachusetts, New England, and here we are in the Pacific Northwest. We're in Oregon, near Portland, Oregon. We're also going to meet up with Lightspeed Aviation, the manufacturer of the awesome, awesome headsets we've been wearing on this entire trip and uh, their facility is right here in this part of Oregon, so we're gonna go check them out. So we're gonna finish up loading up the car, take care of some stuff here at the plane, and then we'll be out of here. Welcome to Oregon. Welcome to the West Coast. It's spun up fine. There's nothing loose, like nothing obvious, so we'll have to call it Monday, get the shop, take a look. Pacific Coast Avionics hooked us up with some fast service to diagnose and luckily fix the issue with the HSI. It ended up being just a bad remote gyro, and they just so happened to have an extra one in the shop, so we had it swapped and settled up on the bill and we were on our way. Lightspeed Aviation is one of the awesome sponsors that constantly contribute to keeping the content flowing on Aviation 101, and they're based right here near Portland, so Arnaldo and I stopped in for a visit to their facility after getting the HSI squared away. Working with the avionics shop and visiting Lightspeed sucked up an entire day, so the next morning we started the drive to check out a few spots on the coast recommended to us by our new friend Andrew Studer, who's an amazing professional photographer and cinematographer who deserves a wholehearted shout out for the amazing work he does. Definitely go give him a follow, you'll get to know him more in the next video. On our way to some of Andrew's spots that he pointed us to, we couldn't help but smack the brakes in the car when we saw an aviation museum on the side of the road. This is the Evergreen Aviation and Space Museum in McMinnville, Oregon, and little did we know that we literally just stumbled upon the home of the one and only Spruce Goose. I was in awe to see this incredibly famous beast in person, almost a little starstruck. And we ended up spending over an hour walking through this huge place, nerding out on all the aviation history that's here. We hit the road with plenty of daylight left to see the beautiful backcountry of Oregon on the way to lay eyes on the Pacific coast.
going through an unmarked trail off of one of these little lookout points on Highway 101 in Oregon, trying to find the money shot. Pacific Coast is right down there. You coming? This will be a good shot. I'm sure we're gonna find a good shot here. In the next episode, we take Andrew Studer up in the Mooney to run a circuit around the biggest peaks in the Pacific Northwest, including Mount Adams, Shasta, Rainier, and Mount St. Helens. Be sure and subscribe to catch the next segment of our Coast to Coast adventure, and until next time, stay happy, healthy, current, and most importantly, stay proficient. We'll see you in the next video. Fly safe.